Forget about Elon Musk's most esteemed achievements in SpaceX and Tesla. Let's have a look at Astronova, which is on its way to revolutionize the current education system. When you or I need to decide a school's name for our child, budget is often a huge concern. But for Elon Musk, money is not even a concern with his $160 billion net worth. So why did the person with all the money in the world open up a completely new school for his children? And what is so special about this school after all? Find out that and much more in this video. Elon Musk describes schooling as nothing more than downloading data into our brains. However, he has also described the current education system as outdated and non-functional. According to estimates, if a US family decides to get one of their children into private education, they'd have to pay out 20% of their salary for it. And that is just for a single child. Make it 40% of the total income with two children and don't even ask what happens if you have five children. The point is, private education is expensive. But that is not a problem for Elon. He just did not believe in the traditional schooling culture, which is essentially based on lots of grading and very little thinking. Elon believes in less paperwork and more in critical thinking. That's what Astronova is all about. It is very interesting how Astronova started out. Basically, the children of SpaceX employees were required to be kept busy so that their parents could work in a peaceful environment without having to worry about their kids. So it was essentially about keeping the kids busy and occupied. Then it transformed into something that would actively engage the kids to be productive during that time as well. Soon, Elon's kids began to grow up and it was time for them to join a school. Elon initially admitted them into regular schools but was severely unhappy. Here is what he says about it. I just did not see the regular schools weren't doing the things I thought should be done. I thought, let's see what we can do. Maybe creating a school would be better. And that is something Elon is known for. He just creates new versions of things he thinks can be improved. That's exactly what we saw with Astronova as well. Astronova is a very special kind of school. After Elon became interested in opening a new school, he talked to one of the old teachers of his kid and took him on board. The school soon expanded and started taking in the children of other employees as well, who seemed really interested in getting their children educated from Elon Musk's school. Elon wanted the kids to familiarize themselves with critical thinking. He says that traditional schooling does not focus on any problem-solving skills and sticks to the letter of the book, which does not help much. At Astronova, real-world problems and discussions revolving around them will be brought up around young kids. Is it unorthodox? Sure, but it definitely beats eight hours in school spent just killing time. When we say real-world problems, we are actually talking about real-world problems such as global warming or nuclear threats. The school focuses on children between the ages of 9 and 13. Of course, that is a very young age, but it is also the time that the cognitive skills of a young child are developing very rapidly. A healthy learning environment is very crucial for a child's upbringing during this stage, which Astronova more than easily fulfills. A lot of the education at Astronova revolves around providing the children with complex conundrums. These conundrums discuss real-world problems with the children to get them to think outside the box. We will give you an example of one. The young students could be provided with a situation where a company is dumping chemicals into the water and the question is posed about who is to blame. There are four options here. Is it the company itself that is doing the act or is it the scientists that cannot unify on the reasons? What about the politicians who are ignoring the problem? And finally, are the voters to blame for voting the politicians into their offices? Now, remember that there is no right answer. In fact, the goal here is to simply push students to think critically and come up with logic on their own. How well they answer only depends on how well they are able to justify their answer. Here's what Elon Musk says about his school. We need something new and exciting to latch onto, something that will replace the severity, outdated current education system. I am sure most of you would agree that while colleges and schools are helpful to a certain degree, they do not mean everything. After all, a child spends 15,000 hours in his school until he's done, so that must play a major role in their development. But how much of it is just memorizing texts they do not even know the meaning of? A lot, probably. Elon goes a step forward and believes that colleges don't mean much either. He believes that companies need to stop looking at college degrees as a requirement for their employees. 
While it is true that colleges help, is it really worth all that money? Not according to Elon Musk. He says college is actually for partying. And these are not just words from Elon. The guy bought a luxury apartment during his college days and used it to have parties throughout his student life. Examples of billionaires that left the traditional education systems of colleges come to mind. Bill Gates, for example, who reigned as the richest man on earth for quite a while, was a college dropout. Granted that he was a Harvard dropout. That alone probably separates me from a lot of other students, but that is not the point. The point is that for someone like Bill Gates, an education at an institution like Harvard was not going to be something that decided his future. And he knew that very well. The same goes for Mark Zuckerberg. He was also a student at Harvard, but did not seem to want to complete his degree. Instead, he dropped out to focus full-time on Facebook. Now, Mark did not believe that the supposedly best learning institution in the world could teach him something new about how he should run Facebook. Mark learned that on his own, or through other means. That alone says a lot if you think about it. When Astronova started out, it was simply named Ad Astra. Half of the pupils at the school were Elon's kids, while the other half were some of the other employees' kids. Even after it expanded, it continued to remain free for all children. But seeing the incredible success of the school, they decided to open it up for everyone. No, you do not need to be the son of a billionaire or other rich brat to get into the school. Sure, they have their requirements, but none of them have anything to do with your money or your status. If you're motivated enough and academically serious, they will probably take you in. The portion of this school open for the general public is still online only, but that is not saying much. Most of the schooling over the last couple of years has been conducted remotely and things have been going quite all right. That's not to say that Astronova could not bring their schools into classrooms in the near future. If the pandemic goes away sometime soon, that is a huge possibility. After all, there are some benefits in face-to-face -face learning that we simply cannot get through online means. But the best part is the fee structure. It only sits at a remarkable $7,500 for an entire year. While private schooling is many times more expensive than that, even public schools are averaging their fees at around $12,000 a year. So that leaves behind little reason for parents not to look at the opportunity for their kids. With that, we'll bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed watching this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Leaving a like on the video and your comments also go a long way in showing your support. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.